Metal Jesus, and I'm back again for part three of our Dreamcast Hidden Gems video with the immortal John Hancock. Glad to be here. And you've brought a stack of games that we're going to show for collectors. Oh yeah, good stuff. I know, he, he showed up at my house with a box full of games, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty joyous time. Mm. Speaking of which, I've liquored you up here. Actually, it's not liquor, it's beer. Mmm, 8-bit mm, AL. Good beer. Mm. Like it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. First up, Slave Zero. Now, this game sounds familiar to me. I don't know why. Um, you know, uh, I want to say it was on a couple, uh, either PC and Dreamcast. Mm. Uh, the Dreamcast one, while not perfect, uh, this game is fairly inexpensive. Your big robot going around blowing stuff up. Always a good time. Yes. Uh, there's a couple other options in the in the version on the Dreamcast. Hmm. There's a multiplayer option. I like the single player version of this. Hmm. Um, I thought it was pretty unique. Um, again, inexpensive versus the action and fun playing the game makes it a thumbs up for me. Cool. Next up is actually, uh, I'm showing you three things and, hmm. and the three things have a connection. This is Dreamcast Demo Disc Volume 11. Okay. Web browser 2.0. I have that disc and I don't I don't know what to use it for anymore. <laughs> Sega Smash Pack Volume 1. I, I have that as well. Okay. I'm, I'm intrigued. Actual games on this are terribly emulated, okay. except for Sega Swirl. Sega Swirl. Sega Swirl is a puzzle game, multiplayer, a lot of fun, unique to the Dreamcast, totally recommend it. Huh. And mo more importantly, look around if you have a web browser 2.0 or a demo disc, you got the full version of the game, go check it out. Wait, wait, so, okay, so what you're saying is like, for instance, the, the, the browser, I put that in there, it mm -hmm. fires up the browser, yeah. and you can play the game, it's like an icon or something? Mm -hmm. And on YouTube, it can show you like how to find the actual, how to play the game through the, navigate through it when you boot up the disc. Wow, interesting. Yeah, um, a lot of fun. I've played that game way too much. It's really good, it's really simple, and it's a hidden gem. Huh, cool. Next up, Red Dog with a big uh, GameStop <laughs> used uh, sticker on here. Um, pretty much essentially you're like a tank slash rover, you know, uh, moon style hmm. patrol vehicle going around in, in uh, levels blowing stuff up. There's also a multiplayer aspect. I like the single player mode. It's pretty good. Graphics pretty good. Uh, the other thing about the Dreamcast you need to know is that you can get a VGA adapter and hook it up to your HD TVs and watch it look awesome. Really? Yes. So are those hard to find? It's worth the money. Okay. Yeah, eBay. Next. Heavy metal. <laughs> Probably doesn't have that track, but right. you know which one does. So um, yeah, this is a, a, a unique kind of arena fighter brawler kind of thing. <laughs> Um, I haven't played this game a ton. I know it's uncommon. Uh, when I did play it, I did like it. Yeah, I've, I've heard good things about it, actually. I picked up recently at, a, at the Portland Expo mm -hmm. uh, for yeah. that reason, so cool. Yeah. This is a game that I added to my collection a while ago, and it's it's got the weirdest name, Egg. <laughs> yeah, Elemental Gimmick Gear. Huh. And again, this is uh, one of the few like RPG style games on the system. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Gorgeous artwork. Um, it's funny because the last Portland Retro Gaming Expo, there was like five people going around. I'm looking for this game. I'm looking this for one? this game. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is games hmm. kind of going up in popularity. I, I definitely recommend getting it. I've never seen it on any other system. Yeah, I do believe it's unique to the Dreamcast. Um, and, it, and again, I think I'd, I'd get it now before later. Mm hmm. Cool. Incoming. Incoming is a unique game to explain. Um, there's multiple perspectives. Uh, there's, uh, it, it's kind of like a cross between Missile Command and Desert Strike. Um, you have to protect hmm. bases, you have to attack things, you have different camera angles, you have different vehicles, you have different modes, it's multiplayer. Um, it, it wasn't just on Dreamcast, but and I do believe it was even an arcade game hmm. later on. Um, but it's, I, I like the Dreamcast version and uh, it's fairly inexpensive. Yeah, you, you see it around, so mm -hmm. it's usually like five or ten bucks. Oh yeah. Huh. 
This next game is one of my all-time favorite Star Wars games, and it's the Dreamcast version that I like the most. That's right, and it, it's a hidden gem because a lot of people don't even know it was made for the Dreamcast. Mm -hmm. It was made for the PC, it was made for the Dreamcast, and the Nintendo 64. Yeah. Uh, there were some other ports on some other stuff, but those are the three main games uh, that were fun. And uh, a lot of the graphics on the Dreamcast one were significantly better than the N64. This game is so fast, and even if you don't like Episode One, this racing game is totally unique, and it controls really well. It's, mm -hmm. it's a it's a really awesome game. Yeah, I totally recommend it. I played a lot of this back in the day. Yeah. Legacy Kane Soul Reaver. Um, this is an actual sequel to a PlayStation game. Hmm. Um, this was ported on PC as well. Um, I really like the Dreamcast one. Um, it's a it's a great platform puzzle, kind of in the vein of like part Tomb Raider, uh, part something else. I think and it was uh, made by the Tomb Raider people. Yep. I mean, yeah, it, it reminds me of something like Tomb Raider, mm. but with like kind of a more dark, dark, darker overtone. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, like it. Thumbs up. All right, man. Well, it wouldn't be a hidden gems video if we didn't talk about some of the the, the interesting controllers that came out for the Dreamcast. So this is an import controller, uh, but I'm gonna recommend it because there's so many fighting games on, on the Dreamcast. This is a fantastic, huh. fantastic third-party controller that is, it, it kind of looks and has the feel of a Sega Saturn controller. Okay. And it has a great control pad, um, a D-pad or a control pad, yeah. or whatever you want to call it. No thumbstick, so oh. uh, obviously you wouldn't be able to play games that needed that, I guess. Nope. So it, 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 but you have a VMU slot, so you can put a VMU and save and save your games. And so, for all the wonderful uh, fighting games on the Dreamcast, I totally recommend the Assy Pad. And uh, and and you can find these hmm. online. Uh, typically, uh, you know, if if you want to go with the standard gray, the multiple colors, uh, um, I recommend this. Thumbs up. Cool. And then you also uh, you updated your DVD collection. So. I, I did. Um, I saw a series of DVDs. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're interested in, in learning about the Dreamcast and also all the other consoles that, well, that are in your collection and yep. that are out there. Atari, Nintendo, Sega, Oddball, and my newest DVD is PlayStation. So I cover 38 systems, hundreds of games, and seven DVDs. And it's seven DVDs, and the Metal Jesus Special is $25 shipped worldwide. And, you know, I mean, I highly recommend it. As a matter of fact, when I first met you, was at the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo, and, and you <laughs> you got me this DVD set, and I, I came home and I watched it, and I learned so much. So much of the knowledge, actually, to be honest, that I have today mm -hmm. comes from these, because, because you lay out, like, some of the highlights of your collection. Yeah. And I, it's amazing to sort of see. You get to see all this sort of stuff, but... You know, you're walking it through, you're talking about the different variants of the, it's just amazing. Yeah, each DVD uh, specializes on a particular company mm. or style, and it's uh, it's over six and a half hours of content. Yeah. Um, it's essentially my game room on DVDs. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link down below in the comments. All right, man, well, thanks for coming on these thank hidden gems. Much. As usual, you're thank awesome. I want to thank you guys for watching my channel. Post comments below and let us know what you think. And as always, I want to thank you for watching my channel and thanks for subscribing. Thank you. Bye-bye. Metal Jesus and I'm back with part three of We Hidden... We... Fuck. Damn it. And now, we'll yeah. show you. Dreamcast. <laughs>